Hey, my name is Jared Schumacher. This is the Magnetic Men's Club. Thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, I wanna talk about some of the questions that we get a lot during either coaching or we also have a program where people will email their problem or email a situation. And within, I try within 24 hours, but sometimes 36 hours at most, I get back to them. So we do some coaching that way too. And a lot of the general questions specific to dating goes with what people think a negative trait about them is, and they ask, can I succeed through it? So an example would be, I get a lot of Indian guys that want to date beautiful blondes, and they ask, is that something I can do? And I also get a lot of short guys that say, hey, you know, I've been having problems dating taller women. What should I do, or what can I do? <clears throat> I get a lot of guys, um, just generally asking, I have this beautiful woman that I want to ask out, but I freeze. She's much higher value than me, and I freeze up. What can I do? And then I also get a lot of women, a lot of older women that say, hey, is it too late to me for me to find a high value guy? Is it too late for me to find the man of my dream? So all of these they're really asking the same question. Despite my perceived negative trait, can I still succeed? A lot of it depends. A lot of it depends on all other traits that you have. That's usually discovered through like a one-on-one -on -one coaching type thing. So I can't say yes to everybody. A lot of it depends. But in this video, I want to talk really about the two different approaches you can take literally in any relationship. We're talking specifically about dating, but the, these rules base is literally for any relationship. Relationship with your friends, your family, even your kids, your associates, your boss. There's two types of approaches. And the first one is rules based approach, which I simplify into probability. And the next one is randomness based approach, which is possibility. Now, before we get any further, if you like content like this, if you're vibing with this video, if you're picking up what I'm putting down, if you want to know more, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and the like button. It definitely helps my channel grow. And while you're at it, that bell icon, you have two really different approaches. You have rules base, which is probability, and you have randomness base, which is possibility. So let's go back to some of these scenarios. So is the probability of an Indian guy who is looking to date tall, beautiful blondes, is it high or low? Well, if you take the rules-based approach, the probability is pretty low. If you go with the randomness-based approach or the possibility, is it possible? Yes, of course it's possible. Is the probability of a five foot three man high or low to date a woman five seven or taller? Well, let's just use the probability of this, this man able to date taller women. Is it high or low? Again, the probability is low, but it is it possible. Of course it's possible. Anything's possible. And finally, let's just use, I'm an older woman who's looking to date high quality men, or really what they're saying is men higher quality, higher stature than her, because women always try to at least date their level or up. It's their hypergamous nature. So usually when a woman asks that, they're asking, can I find somebody who's doing better in life than me because women want to look up to their men. So that's really what they're asking. And being an older woman, is the probability higher or lower? Again, on a scale of probabilities, it is low, but it is possible. Both of these approaches have extremes, okay? And I need you guys to kind of understand and realize that you can't take 
both of these approaches to the extremes because you're gonna just end up bitter and hateful. So let me give you an example on this. The risk of the rules-based or the probability approach is that for some people, it really becomes a case of I either have these traits or I don't. I'm either tall, I'm either rich, my skin color is either this, whatever their rule is, they either have it or they don't. And if they don't have it, then they're screwed. No one's gonna like them. They're gonna live in destitute forever. And this causes anger, depression. This is where incels are born. If they take this rules-based approach to the extreme, this is how incels are born. Likewise, if you take the randomness approach or the possibility approach, you tend to downplay the value-based nature of all human exchanges, meaning there are rules in place. There's what's called hard rules in place, and we'll get to that in a minute, for more people than not. And because they downplay this nature of you know, this human exchange, they favor it for feelings or just not having met the right one. So they live in la-la land. That's kind of, if you take it to the extremes, they live in la-la land. And because they live kind of with their heads in the clouds or they take the possibility to extreme, they're less likely to do the work they need to do to level themselves up, to bring up their personal value, and to, and to increase their odds of success. So at both extremes, these approaches are bad. And like anything, right in the middle is kind of where you want to be in relationships, in your dating, and really in your interpersonal development. Right in the middle is kind of that sweet spot. Both of these approaches are correct, what you wanna do is really have a mix of these approaches and an understanding of what both of these approaches are, are about. Now back to what I said, hard rules. There are objective dating rules that are placed upon society. They're cultural. There's different rules depending on what areas of the world that you live in. For instance, if you're in a Muslim country and you're a white man and you want to date a Muslim woman, is it, if you take the rules-based approach, is the probability that you're able to date a Muslim woman higher or lower? It's very low because their culture, their rules of engagement when you're dealing with a Muslim woman are vastly different than you're dealing with a Christian woman. So the probability is very low. Is it possible? Yes. If you convert to the Muslim faith, then your chances have increased that you're able to date a Muslim woman because you're of Muslim faith. Probability, rules-based, the rules dictate, no, you can't date this type of woman because of these rules. Possible, yes, if I convert and now I've abide by those rules, I can date a Muslim woman. So these are what's called hard rules and every society has hard rules. And so you have to understand what those hard rules are because once you understand what those hard rules are, you know the, what the probability is. You know the probability of being successful based on those rules. And now here's where the randomness approach comes in where you mix. But is it possible? Sure, it's possible I can do these things. And in the possibility of dating the type of woman you want, you have to understand now that I have to do the work. If I'm negative in an area, I need to become positive in all other areas to help negate that negative or that perceived negative. So it's always possible to find a partner in those specific environments or those, those specific cir circumstances where you're allowed to kind of punch up your weight class. You see this a lot where you have this beautiful younger woman <clears throat> with this older kind of more feeble man. Well, yes, he is very 
much older than her, but he might have a lot of money. Okay, so on a rules-based approach, if you look at the probability of an older man dating a younger woman is very low. On the possible side, yeah, if I'm very rich and I can provide her one hell of a lifestyle, some women will go and sign up for that particular lifestyle. Probability, possibility. So you can always punch up in your weight class, you can always punch up in your dating, providing that you provide more value in other areas while you still have a perceived negative value in one or two areas. So I wanna use an example of this because this is very, I need you guys to understand this part because this is the crux of a lot of my coaching where people don't want to hear the hard truths. They don't want to hear that you just need to do the work. They just want to hear fluff. They just want to hear what they kind of want to hear. A lot of people don't really care about the truth. They care about their own reality. Now, I'm going to give an example of let's just say you're grossly overweight. You're a fucking fat ass, okay? And you want to date beautiful women. Well, in this case, you have strike one. You broke a rule. If you look at the scale of probability, you being a fat ass, what's the probability of you finding a thin, beautiful woman who's very athletic, who loves to go to the gym? What's the probability? Is it high or low? Well, it's low. Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. I'm going to use some fictitious numbers or ratios, and I'm gonna keep those ratios in line with this example. So let's just say you are a fat ass. One in 2,000 women have this weird sexual kink. They love fat guys. Well, great, you're in. That's one in 2,000 women. Let's just say now one in 100 women, they don't, care that you're overweight and one in 50 women don't care a lot that you're overweight. So we'll use that only because you can fix that. If you're overweight, you can fix that. So, so women do understand that they like projects. They like fixing, fixing guys. So if you're overweight, she might be able to work with that. So let's just say one out of 50 women don't mind that you're overweight. It's possible that you're gonna find one woman in 50 that will at least entertain you. You're still facing this challenge, i.e. your weight, but because it's only one negative trait, you have room to make up for that negative trait in other traits, i.e. maybe you're taller. Maybe even though you're overweight, you're good looking. Maybe you have a great career, you're self-employed, Maybe you make a lot of money. Maybe you're funny. Maybe you're very charismatic. Maybe even though you're overweight, you dress very well. You have other traits that women can say, okay, he is a fat ass, but all of these other things negate that. So is it possible for you, who, somebody who is overweight, to find a woman like that? Yes. Now, let's add another layer to this. You're overweight and you're socially awkward. You have two negative traits against you, straight two. So, now you need to find a girl who doesn't really care much that you're overweight, and you need to find a girl who doesn't really care much that you're so socially awkward. So if we're still using the same ratio of one to 50, you have one to 50, one in 50 women, aren't really gonna care that you're overweight. And then we're gonna keep that same ratio. Now you have one to 50 women or one in 50 women don't really care that you're socially awkward. Multiply those two together and it's one in 2,500 women. Your odds have gotten greater to find that one woman who doesn't care that you're overweight and socially awkward. Do you see where the possibility gets further and further out? It's still possible, but it's harder. Now, let's add one more, just why not? You're overweight, you're socially awkward, and you're jobless, or you're chronically jobless. 
Now, it's one in 50, one in 50, one in 50. One out of 50 women might think the overweight thing isn't an issue. One out of 50 might not think being socially awkward is an issue. Now we have to find one in 50 women who don't really care that you're chronically jobless. She's gonna have to kind of pretty much take care of you. Multiply that out. Now it's one in 125,000 women will sign up for that. Well, what the fuck kind of woman is that? This is where you're in that good luck territory, la la land. The point of all this is, if you have a negative or what's perceived socially as a negative trait, quality, you're, you're fat, you're short, you're too old, you're too this, you're not enough that. If you have what's, ba what's considered a hard rule, meaning the probability is lower to have the type of relationship you want, based on a negative trait that you have, you have to become successful in all other traits to make that trait less noticeable, less of an impact on the overall. If you're an Indian guy, okay, and you wanna date these beautiful blondes, what can you do? Well, you have to increase your value. Maybe you're really smart, become a surgeon, become a lawyer, become an engineer, become self-employed develop a software company, do something that's going to make you exceptional. If you want to be the exception, meaning the Indian guy who can date and bang beautiful blondes, you have to become exceptional in all other realms. Get to the gym, look great, get, get buff, exercise, eat well, change your hairstyle, dress well, all of these things you're leveling up all other traits except for the perceived negative trait that you have of being Indian and you wanna date beautiful women. Now, as a side note, I'm not bashing Indians because I do get a lot of questions from Indian men about this. This is why I'm highlighting this. If you're a short guy and you wanna date taller women, you can't do much about your height, but you can get to the gym, you can get really good at your career, all the same things for the Indian guy you can do. You can start becoming more charismatic. You can take that negative that you have or that perceived negative that you have and increase all other traits that you have so that this taller woman who might not care that you're shorter, everything else is amazing about you, bam, there you go. Now you have a little bit more choice, you have a little bit more options because you've leveled yourself up in all other realms. So what are some other things you can do? I just kind of gave you guys some specifics, but in general, this is how you escape this mindset because it is a mindset. When people come to me and they, they view a negative trait about themselves, they don't view all the positives. And so I need to understand, if you have a negative trait, you can work on that to a degree, but you can definitely work on other positive traits you have, level those up so that they become a net positive that washes out that negative or that perceived negative you have. So get into your mind that <clears throat> no, you can. It is possible for you to have the type of relationship you want. So I want you to burn this thought in your head. You are not a group. If short men, Indian men, older women, poor men, etc., struggle more than you, that doesn't say anything about you as an individual. You are an individual. And as an individual, you can create and make the choices you need to make to level yourself up so you are not a group. The general group dynamic that you throw yourself in doesn't apply to you. Understand that. You have a choice. You can do things to increase your value. Again, become exceptional. If you want to be an exception to the rule, you have to become exceptional in all other realms. We talked about it, I gave you some specifics, we're not gonna go any further into that. Become a high 
value man in all realms. Be the best version of yourself. This is the whole point of this channel is to become the best version of yourself. Get your money right, get your health right, get your mind right, get your <clears throat> relationships right with your friends, your family, get your relationship right with the girl or man of your dreams. Get those on point and become the best version of yourself. These are how you break these exceptions. These are how you get into, is it possible? Yes. And it's possibly because I've done all the work. I've done the work so that whatever negative trait I perceive I have, all other traits are positive. That one gets negated out. Another thing you can do is just take chances. Do you know how so many guys, they don't shoot their shot for fear of rejection? You never know if that taller girl doesn't care that you're 5'4 five, or 5'6 five, unless you ask her out. Yes, does that mean you're gonna get more shit, you're gonna get more rejections? Yes, but dating is the law of numbers. You have to go through a shit ton of no's to get a yes. Never take a rejection personally. She doesn't like short guys. She doesn't like Indian guys. He doesn't like dating older women. It's not personal to you, it's a preference. So don't get mad at them, they have a preference. Just like you have a preference. Your preference are your preferences. So if somebody shoots you down, don't get mad at them, that's their preference, it's okay. There's so many people out there, so many amazing people out there, <clears throat> you will find the person you're looking for but you have to put yourself out there. You have to take chances. The other thing is, and I throw this under uh, a blanket term, is just learn game. Really it means learn social dynamics. Learn female nature, learn male nature, learn that your place as a man, learn that it's okay to be a man, learn that it's okay to have your own thoughts, your own opinions. This is an area this is an area a lot of men struggle in. They're very socially awkward. They're fine around their friends, but when they get around strangers, specifically women, they become very socially awkward and they clamp up. And if they start talking to a girl, they keep it very short because they don't want to expose themselves. They don't want to take that chance. So they keep it very short. Learn to relax. Learn to banter, learn to have a good mouthpiece. All of these things are through the fabric of social dynamics. You can definitely learn this. If you want help with that and you want a very low entry, a very low dollar amount to get into this, go to my school program. I'm taking the first 50 people at $7 a month for life. There are tons of information that's not on my YouTube channel. There are video content that you can, uh, you can download, you can watch, you can implement. There's courses in there for you, all for $7 a month. This will help increase your social dynamics. This will help increase and level you up <clears throat> to be the badass I know you are. So that's down below. If you want the freebie stuff, just join our Facebook group. That's down below as well. And if you want personal one-on-one -on -one coaching, if you really want to level yourself up, then go to our website, Link down below and book a free consultation with me. I wanna see if I can work with you one-on-one. -on -one. That's gonna be your best way to level yourself up and collapse the time needed to do it. All of these things are of value, of, of value to you. But you can succeed being the underdog. You can succeed in life with having these limited beliefs that you have. With all that, my name is Jared Schumacher. I hope this video made sense for you. I hope you were able to take away something with this video. The main takeaway here is you have to do the work. Whatever, whatever ideology you have on either rules-based approach or randomness-based approach, mix them and understand that you are an individual. You can create for yourself a massive, impactful, and beautiful life. And that's what I'm here to help you do. With that, have an amazing day and we're going to talk soon.